In Action News Update sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hello, I'm Dave Cormacier and right now on your 13 Action News Update, McCarran Airport one step closer to rebranding as Harry Reid International Airport. And while we're taking a live look there, Clark County collected $4.2 million in remaining funds to rename the airport to our former... Thirteen Action News Update sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hello, I'm Dave Cormacier, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, McCarran Airport one step closer to rebranding as Harry Reid International Airport. Clark County collected $4.2 million in remaining funds to rename the airport to our former Nevada U.S. Senator. The county will begin its first phase of work and noted the renaming process will take some time. Clark County Commissioners are giving some of the marijuana revenue to help the homeless. They approved giving up to $2 million a year to three local nonprofits that help the homeless in Las Vegas. They are Help of Southern Nevada, Lutheran Social Services, and HopeLink. A Las Vegas couple is accused of performing procedures such as Botox and lip injections without a license. That's according to an arrest report. Metro Police say Olga and Kenny Gurchenko were taken into custody Friday after officers investigated an unlicensed facility. According to police, officers received a tip about the facility near US 95 and Torrey Pines Drive, and that came after a patient reportedly had an allergic reaction to a procedure. So they're now facing a charge of acting as a nurse without a license. Weather forecast continues to look pretty good. We'll see more high clouds at times today, but after a chilly morning in the 40s and 50s, we're climbing through the 60s after 9 a.m. High temperatures a few degrees milder than yesterday, although still below average for this 20th day of October. The high here in Las Vegas uh, about 74 degrees. Our nightly forecast yeah, the Golden Knights back home hosting the Blues puck drop at 7 p.m. Partly cloudy and 70 degrees with 60s the rest of the evening 50s for lows tonight. They have another quiet day Thursday with the high of 77. A little breezy Friday through the weekend with highs in the 70s to near 80 degrees. All right, Justin, and that was your 13 Action News update. You'll find more on our website, KTNV.com and our free mobile app.